Hello, Christian Livingstone here, and I'm getting ready to uh, add a secondary hard drive inside my Mac Mini. There's a, a method for doing that, and uh, I got a little kit that eh, comes with some grommets and uh, little uh, uh, serial connectors, so you can do that. You can shoehorn in a secondary uh, a hard drive, and this is uh, kind of a hybrid hard drive. It spins a little faster than my existing ones, and this might be... Uh, an intermediate step to uh, putting in a, a, a full-blown uh, solid-state hard drive, which are more costly, more expensive, and you know, so I'm going to use this. Uh, it's got a, a little bit of a, a solid-state drive built into it, I don't know, 8 or 10 gigabytes, but uh, it also spins at a faster speed, so I'm hoping this will hold me over for a little while. But while I'm doing that, uh, one thing uh, I do to Mac Minis, uh, at least the, the previous two that I've had, and uh, the one was a G4, and then the next one was a, uh, a 2009 uh, with the Core 2 Duo processor in it. Uh, into those, I uh, installed these uh, uh, Wi-Fi pigtails, and that's what I'm going to do to my existing uh, Mac Mini uh, uh, this time too. It's a 2011 and while I'm going in there to do this stuff I'm going to uh, install this pigtail and uh, disconnect the uh, existing internal uh, Wi-Fi antenna because they're omnidirectional, they're, they're small, they're not boosted or anything. I'm not going to boost this either but uh, I like the uh, directional antennas you know where you don't you're not picking up, uh, broadcasting, receiving uh, in all directions. You can direct it. If you know where you're you're trying to pick up, you can direct it just there, and that way you don't get interference. So these are a big, uh, a big improvement. Uh, and then you just buy uh, uh, an aftermarket antenna, a directional one, or you could put up a, a, an omnidirectional one too. So uh, these are always a, a good thing, in my opinion, to do. And I, I believe uh, MacBook... Uh, Pros, MacBooks uh, have the same problem. Their Wi-Fi is just not too good, and uh, so that's what I do. And uh, so I don't know uh, if I've seen this done uh, on the 2011s. Uh, you know, on the 2009 one I I did, uh, I actually put two of these uh, pigtails out uh, because uh, the uh, style of uh, Wi-Fi uh, uh, logic board was uh, of the MIMO type and, and MIMO is a technology where you can use two antennas and there were two internal antennas in the uh, uh, that mini but uh, the newer one doesn't seem to be utilized in the MIMO and uh, MIMO was uh, I guess it was a pretty good technology. I had a lot of uh, good luck with that uh, one with the two directional antennas. I had a friend that uh, used to install uh, Wi-Fi uh, uh, systems in a town, and uh, he directed a signal over to me, and I picked it up, and man, it was reliable, it was fast, and uh, so, you know, I want my MIMO, but uh, apparently the new minis don't have the MIMO so much. They've got one antenna, so that's what I'm... I'm uh, doing. I'm just going to install this pigtail. I'll just disconnect the existing one and leave the antenna, you know, in there. Uh, it's of a little different style. It's built into a, a little grill and, uh, you know, no need to take it out. Like in the old ones, there was a little apparatus that could be removed, but uh, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to leave the uh, old one in there and uh, install this uh, out to the back. And uh, the way the motherboard on the this mini uh, works is that it removes out. So, you know, I'll, I'll uh, install this uh, little connector right here, and it'll come in and out with the whole uh, 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 apparatus. And uh, right on the back, I'll just drill a hole and install this like I did the other. So uh, you'll see. I'll uh, open it up here uh, pretty shortly, and uh, we'll get into the nuts and bolts of it. Okay? Okay, so you can see the uh, little connector here, and it uh, goes right onto that uh, receptacle there. And uh, I plucked it out with some tweezers, and uh, you know they're quite small, and so you know you just gotta use tweezers. 
Okay, as you can see, the uh, 2011 Mac Mini uh, Main Logic Board is removed from the Mini uh, uh, housing itself, and uh, I'm looking around and I'm uh, uh, seeing the uh, daughter board for the uh, Wi-Fi, and uh, I'm not sure if there is a uh, Mimo on that card or not. Uh, I see some uh, other uh, connectors and. and there's two of them. One of them's probably the uh, Bluetooth, but maybe there's another, I don't know, hidden uh, antenna somewhere. I I'm kind of guessing no. There's probably not a second antenna, so Mimo's probably out. This is the one connector uh, that the uh, old antenna came off of, and uh, I want to uh, uh, mount the uh, connector for the new pigtail and I'm gonna go right down in here that's about the only spot left I'll uh, break out this little uh, uh, nub here and uh, drill a hole right in here and uh, slide that that little baby right right underneath there and uh, uh, thread the uh, little nut and uh, I think it'll be uh, good to go There's okay this is the hole I drilled right there and uh, you can see it's a delicate balancing act uh, uh, about keeping it away from these audio jacks and the uh, USB uh, port right here. And depending on what kind of antenna you uh, screw in there and how fat and beefy the uh, uh, USB uh, uh, plug you have, uh, those may conflict. But uh, I'm not worried about it. I bet I can uh, uh, place uh, the most uh, slender uh, USB uh uh, cable in there and it'll it'll go along with uh, whatever uh, uh, the uh, antenna looks like but other than that when you go uh, behind here you'll see uh, some metal and it's shielding and you know I removed that I don't recommend that you try to drill through it uh, this is what a piece of it looks like this is metal shielding it's behind here if you drill through there it's going to resist you and I just pluck this one piece off and uh, but there's actually uh, another uh, a layer of it and uh, I had to uh, drop that out of there I actually uh, uh, was kind of surprised to find a, a second uh, uh, layer of the shielding and that piece was a, a little more difficult it wasn't just uh, held on by the uh, uh, little nubs and and that one tab I just had to break and uh, snip that off and that piece was done but uh, the uh, underlying uh, shielding uh, that was there uh, you know I had to take some needle nose pliers and rock it back and forth and create so much fatigue on it finally after a hundred times back and forth uh, it finally did break off and and you can see I scuffed it up a little inside there but uh, nothing uh, nothing bad and uh, I think the hole is in the right place so uh, I'll uh, go ahead and shoehorn the uh, pigtail in there and show you what it looks like. The job's complete. As you can see, the, uh, the new uh, connector is uh, routed uh, all the way to the uh, daughter board of the Wi-Fi card. And I recommend you maybe sometimes take a long way around to take up some of the slack so you don't have to worry about taping these down or, or anything. They just stay where they're at. And... Uh, you know, you can see that it clears this, so it'll slide right back in. And uh, I've got a, a, a Wi-Fi antenna here. This is not the one I'm going to use. It's a omnidirectional. But I want to go ahead and screw this in. It's, it's a pretty fatty uh, connector here, so this is not slim by any means. But I'm going to screw that in and just show you that... Uh, you know, if you're lucky, and I guess I got lucky uh, uh, today, and you might too after seeing this, uh, that you'll be able to, uh, you know, be a, a confident that uh, the USB cable and the uh, antenna can go in together and uh, coexist. You can see it's all hooked up and running now. Here's the uh, screen and. Uh, there's that little antenna. That's not the one I'm going to use. This is an omnidirectional antenna. I have one coming in the mail, uh, tax-free, uh, that I sent away for, and it'll be uh, here any day. 
And, uh, you know, it just uh, goes to show that uh, already the uh, reception is improved. There's about four connections, and you can see they're coming in pretty strong. And, uh, you know, these are not emanating from my household. And, uh, you know, there's five of them now. I usually get about two or three, but uh, it just goes to show it's, it's a big improvement. Even putting in a, a, a cheap uh, omni-directional uh, external uh, antenna is a, a big improvement. And the directional one, if you're really wanting to target into an area to pick up something, uh, uh, it'll be even improved. So uh, maybe when that one comes in the mail, I'll uh, double-check it against this. And, you know everybody's uh, mileage may vary and you know it depends on the weather and things like that but uh, uh, yeah no this is it's improved already I'm I'm liking it and that uh, little pigtail only cost a few bucks and uh, you know other people might get a little squeamish oh no I don't want to go digging in the computer and it is it's a uh, it's kind of a, a, a tricky uh, maneuver to do that but uh, the other solutions are is, is just a little uh, USB uh, kind of uh, apparatus that has a, um, uh, an antenna and a booster many times built right in. So, you know, you can do that. Just buy one for about, I don't know, 18 bucks. But that's just, to me, that's another dongle, another thing hanging out sucking down a little bit more energy uh, needlessly and uh, maybe causing the hard drive to spin a little faster. I don't know. So I just like uh, the less is more solution. And so so far, I, I, I've always liked this uh, solution. Just to put a pigtail right out uh, the back of your Mac minis, and this will be the third one now, and uh, I'm digging it. And sure enough, the longer I leave this on, the more it just keeps picking up. So, uh, yeah. Big improvement already. It's just given me more and more. So, uh, you know, if there was something I was looking to target to, as far as uh, finding a signal, you know, with the directional uh, antenna, I'm sure it would uh, be even better.